Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Thursday evening and this evening we are talking changes. I'm having a thing. Um, I have decided that I need to declutter the house like properly. Um, we are getting rid of the big three-seater sofa that we have. We are getting rid of the sideboard which looks like a wall unit because my parents got a sideboard and two glass fronted cabinets to go on top of it with the same finish. It's going. I am giving my fleeces that I got, the sheep fleeces that I was going to make into a rug. You know, I've had them for ages. I'm going to give them to a local crafter who actually spins her own wool. So that will get them out of the house. I'm going to start a home office. <clears throat> now, I did have one during COVID. And I got rid of it um, when we had to sell mum and dad's house. I got rid of the lovely desk that I had. So I'm getting another desk. Um, I've got my stool. If I need a chair, I'll get a chair. I am changing the whole place. I'm changing my bed because I did have mum and dad's huge bed, the zip and link. It's going to go. At the moment, I'm taking off Patrick's side because it won't be long until I get another one and that will give me the single bed in my room which I have a relatively large room considering I'm in a wee housing association house the, my bedroom's relatively big so when I get that down to the single bed then I can move that away and I can start clearing out stuff sorting out my preps getting everything done I am on a roll I don't know what has happened I don't know what's happening to my brain but when I start machine gunning like this with ideas I mean poor Patrick he woke up this morning and as soon as I saw him on Facebook, bless him, um, while, I was, while I was at work I was messaging him because I can type faster than I can text. So of course I'm sitting typing, typing, typing. He's just waking up and got himself a cup of tea because I go into work about half seven so that I can have tea and catch up with anything. So he's waking up, got himself a cup of tea and I'm type, 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 type. And he's like, oh, right, good idea just about to type something back to me in his phone and I'm like typey 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 so it took a while before I told him all my ideas so bless him he came through tonight when I'd finished work and was like right this is what we need to do you need to tell me this you need to sort that out so we have a plan a very basic plan at the moment but it will be happening because I need to get this place decluttered I need to get some space I need to get it that do you know, before I get much older, that it's the way I want it to be. I don't want to have all this clutter that when I'm older and I'm like, right, I need to clear out the house so that I can relax in it. Let's do it now while I'm still relatively fit. Let's do it now while I still have contacts through work that they can help. I have no words. This is so embarrassing. So there I was today. Patrick had left and I was like, right, I'm going to start. I've got two black bin bags full of stuff. And some big, I had some big long polystyrene bits from a box. And I was like, right, I'm going to take them down to work because we have a skip there. We actually have two skips there. So I went to the little skip beside the office, which I will be phoning them to change tomorrow because it's full. So I couldn't put anything in that. <clears throat> so I went up the hill to the big skip. Big, big skip. And I mean, like, big. it's bigger than me by quite some measure. So I managed to get the bin bags that I had onto the scaffolding that's beside it that the boys used to climb up on. And I was like, I'll just climb up. And I got one foot on the first rung of the scaffold and I was like, no, you will not because you're never getting down here again. So <laughs> luckily, on my, I had to leave the two bags on the scaffolding and luckily on the way home, I saw some of the boys from work. They were helping a mate out. So I was like, wait, wait, wait. I need to, and, and I was like, I'm so sorry, but it's too big and I can't and, and it's too heavy. And and so they laughed and said, yes, we'll do that for you tomorrow morning, Karen. So I have a great bunch of guys at work. They look after me, which is lovely. Um, so, yes, that is the that is where we are at the moment. We are blitzing the place. We haven't actually started yet, but the intentions are there and things are moving and things are getting done. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see. Um, but I'm hoping that once my desk is back in the sitting room, because I was going to put it in the bedroom and Kathleen told me, do not have your office in the bedroom because you'll not sleep properly. Because then if you do your normal waking up at three, four in the morning, you'll just go and do worky stuff. It's like, good point. 
So the desk is going to be down the stairs and that means that I can do my website, I can write my books, because I have like three books on the go at the moment. I can do my recording of The Man Who Walked Backwards because obviously I couldn't record it when I was sounding full of the cold. So I need to do that again. So there is a lot of stuff going on. Do I have a clue what I'm eating tonight? No. I'm thinking I'm going to peel some potatoes and make some chips in the air fryer with some chicken drumsticks. That is sounding like a plan. So I'll let you know how I got on with that. But yeah, um, I mean, my brain is everywhere at the moment because I'm like, I want to do that, I want to do that. Where am I going to put that? What am I going to do with this? This I want to keep, this I want to go. How am I going to get it? Oh, it's exhausting being me. I pity poor Patrick and Kathleen because it must be exhausting living with me as well. What can I say? It's worth it in the end. <laughs> Catch you later.